I am here. It is a dog, believe it or not. This is a dog. It's a Great Dane here. Uh, 20 animal shelters going to be at Balloon Fiesta Park. Isn't he beautiful, Annalise? Uh, May 30th and 31st for the Fetch and Release. We have Ronnie Miller with the Justice Great Dane Rescue and Penelope. Is that right, Ronnie? Penelope. Okay. So Penelope is five? Yes. This, so she's full grown. She's fully grown. But she's the smaller of the Great Danes that you have. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so tell us a little bit about the Fetch and Release program. Fetch and Release was uh, de developed last year to uh, replace a uh, large-scale adoption event that uh, had run its course, so we didn't think it did, so we went ahead and organized Fetch and Release 2014 mm -hmm. so uh, we could have a uh, large audience for some of the smaller shelters around the state that sure. don't get that large um, so audience. what are some of the shelters that will be uh, be present and be having animals um, available for adoption? We'll have uh, Raton, uh, Animal Humane. Okay. We'll have New Mexico Dog, Justice Great Dane Rescue, of course. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> All Ears <laughs> Bassett uh, Sanctuary will be there. Uh -huh. And then we do have some uh, other wildlife organizations as well okay. that are helping trying to uh, that are maybe helping other animals? Yes. Okay, because uh, as I, I was telling you earlier, Annalise now wants a dog. She wants a cat, she wants a rabbit, the list keeps growing. So if you have a, a toddler or someone there, hi, hi Penelope, you're gorgeous. If you have someone that's interested in maybe non-traditional animals, you'll, you'll have that as well. Is that um, right? We don't have any uh, of the non-companion animals signed up this year. Okay. Um, but we will have information that uh, we can pass out at right. the event. Information if you're well. looking for those types of animals. Oh, sweet dog. But we do have dogs and cats. Dogs and cats. On okay. Site. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the process. When we adopt, uh, does that include spaying, neutering? All, tell, tell us what that all includes. All animals that are, will be at Fetch and Release will be spayed, neuter, and up to date on shots. Okay. Um, we do require that for the animals to attend the event. Uh -huh. That way we can help control the animal population and uh, yeah, be absolutely. responsible as a rescue. Absolutely. Uh, and of course, you know, Annalise is here with me today because this is this is an event that the kids can come to as well. It's going to be hard to walk away without an animal if you bring your kids. <laughs> just saying, folks. Just saying. Yes, it is a family-oriented event. Both uh, human family and your uh, pets can come. Oh, okay. We will have Which is a, a good idea if you're thinking of adopting. Um, a bouncer area for the kids to play. Um, we'll have a coloring contest going on that we're going to have a fantastic prize for. And then... Uh, We'll just have uh, food and drinks. Um, Kona Ice will be there for uh, oh, some great. very good shaved ice drinks. Shaved Cute ice drink, off. you hear that? <laughs> it's great. So again, May 30th, 31st, we come out. Uh, in terms of what we can expect of fees for adoption, what can we expect? Obviously, it'll probably vary between breeds, animals. It varies between organization. The ballpark and um, organization as well. Uh, some are doing uh, the 40 to $50 range. Okay. And so some of the breed specifics are a lot more because they're smaller organizations that don't have that government funding to help them out. Right. Um, our adoption fee fees for Great Danes run between $150 and $350, okay. uh, depending on the age of the dog. Right. So we use the younger dogs that uh, have a higher fee to help pay for the sure. older dogs. Sure. Absolutely. Well, these are beautiful animals. Going to be a lot going on. Again, May 30th and 31st, Balloon Fiesta Park. Fetch and release. For more information, head over to casa.com. Penelope, you were so good.